here today to talk about one of the most underrated NFL playoff runs ever. So 2016, Matt Ryan had 10 touchdowns and zero interceptions in three games. And this run would be remembered forever, if not for the way it ended. For context, 2012, Joe Flacco had 11 touchdowns and zero picks in four games in his Cinderella run in which they won the Super Bowl. So let's start with the divisional round against Seattle. Matt Ryan went for 338 yards, three touchdowns, and zero interceptions. Look at this play. Soft touch and perfect dot that just fl falls right in Sanu's hands. Now look at this next play. Look at this touchdown to Tevin Coleman. Yes, it's a wide open uh, running back, but look at the pocket presence. That's what's key to watch here. If he steps up in the pocket, he gets sacked. If he steps left, creates an outlet to throw, and finds a wide open running back for an easy six. Matt Ryan showed brilliant pocket presence all throughout this playoffs. Next, let's talk about the NFC Championship versus Green Bay. He had 392 yards and five total touchdowns. I don't know how many quarterbacks have had five touchdowns in a championship, but I'm guessing not many. Julio Jones was on a tear this day with 180 and two tutties, but Matt Ryan still made some great plays. People try and discredit this game because the Packers are starting Ladarius Gunter, but people forget these Packers were on a 10-game 10 game, 10 game win streak. Now look at his scramble by Matt. He showed that he does have some mobility all throughout these playoffs. And again, this is the pocket presence that we're talking about. Now look at his throw to Julio. Third and one, which is five seconds left before the half. Matt has to put the ball on the money to get a touchdown, and he does. Let's talk about the Super Bowl. 284 yards and two touchdowns. Matt Ryan had one of the highest Super Bowl passer ratings of all time. It's a shame that he lost. This touchdown to Hooper to make the score 14-0 was an absolute strike. Here's another strike, this time to Julio Jones. The Super Bowl is probably where Matt had his most precise throws of this postseason, which is why it sucks all the more that he lost. This fumble goes down as Matt's fault, but we all know Freeman remembers how to block. This goes for a big gain and potentially even a touchdown. Instead, it's a fumble and the Pats ball and it leads to a score. This throw and catch is one of the best in Super Bowl history. Matt shows off amazing pocket presence once again and throws the ball where only Julio can get it, and Julio makes an even more amazing catch. Beautiful. If Kyle runs the ball three times after this, the Falcons are Super Bowl champions. So yes, Matt Ryan's 2016 playoff run was a historic one. It sucks that it ended the way it did.